Well, contrary to the world's media, we now have Donald Trump as the next president of the United States. You know, I think this is a case of misplaced wishful thinking on the part of not just the media, but most political commentators as well. I wonder if the same thing doesn't apply here. If we look last week at the various reports, the media tended to write off Jacob Zuma as president. It was the beginning of the end. We even had a sensational headline like, Dead President Walking. Uh, that was after the withdrawal, of course, of what I think was a, a badly executed and ham-fistedly executed uh, set of charges against Pravin Gordon, the, the finance minister, and two other people. It's a case of, of real tactical arrogance, and it backfired badly. But it did not create terminal damage to the presidency, I don't think so. And the counterattack is now very much underway. If you have a look at it, you'll see that it's been mounted with various allegations, charges, various hints that there may be further charges against Pravin Gordon. Uh, confusion reigns and it continues. Because you see, unless that small army of compromised politicians, and that includes the entire backbench and cabinet of the ANC in Parliament, unless they suddenly shift their loyalties and uh, the majority within the National Executive Committee of the ANC changes, uh, I'm afraid nothing will change. But whatever happens, one of the major casualties in this entire business will be COSATU, which still happens to be, I think, the largest Labour Federation in the country. If Jacob Zuma stays in power, as he seems likely to do, uh, and the South African Communist Party, in that case, may well decide to leave the tripartite alliance and go it alone in, in 2019. It's very much on the cards. If that happens, the rump, or perhaps even a majority of the affiliates of COSATU, will then leave, perhaps to join the SACP, be affiliated to it, or whatever. It, whatever happens, it'll be messy and it will damage the labor movement. Now, this possibility was really underlined last week with the um, announcement by NIHAWU, that's the National Education, Health and Allied Workers Union, a major union and affiliated to COSATU, that they wanted the president to resign. They put it very diplomatically. Now they're the second COSATU union to call publicly for the resignation of President Zuma. The first being the National uh, Metal Workers um, Union, NIHAWU, uh, I beg your pardon, NUMSA. NUMSA first were the first union to call for the resignation, but they also called for leaving the alliance, which Nihau has not done. Nihau, along with the SACP, the South African Communist Party, wants to keep the alliance intact. And they see that this is possible if President Zuma resigns and Sula Ramaphosa takes over. It's all very complicated, very confused. But I'll try to make some sense out of it in my Inside Labour column this week, which you can access on this platform, Fin24, tomorrow, and a version of which will appear in the City Press business section on Sunday. Until then, it's over to you. Let's have your comments, your criticisms, your suggestions, your views about what is actually going on. Look forward to hearing from you. Just send them in to editor at fin24.com. That's editor at fin24.com. And for this week, that's all from me. Cheers.